based on the numbers, that would be an absorption rate of three. Six months of inventory, six. When we have around six months of inventory, we have a healthy market where both buyers and sellers have equal leverage or as equal as humanly possible. Currently, we are still only at 3.3 months worth of inventory. In 2007, before the massive wave of foreclosures even started hitting, we had 8.9 months worth of inventory. It was already a buyer's market before the market started to crash. 2008, that's when the foreclosures really hit and America saw the peak in foreclosures. Over 1 million homes were thrown back on the market and it pushed the inventory up to 10.4 months worth of inventory. 2009 was around 8.8 .8 months and 2010 was around 9.4 months worth of inventory. Now let's look at the median sales price, which currently sits at $406,700. The median sales price has gone up 1.9% in America since last year. That's with the high interest rate. Lawrence Young, the chief economist of the National Association of Realtors, said there are simply not enough homes for sale. The market could easily absorb a doubling of inventory. Another massive difference between now and 2008 is the fact that folks are sitting on a ton of equity. Folks, 38.7% of people own their home outright. These people were able to pay off their entire home. They are likely able to pay their taxes on their home. So these folks are likely not getting displaced. And then 30% of mortgaged homes have over 50% in equity. So you got to think, why would these folks get foreclosed on if they could just sell? If they have over 50% worth of equity, that means they could absorb that much at least before they get foreclosed on. That's not even including a short sale if they had to. So we just wouldn't need to see a housing crash. We're talking the biggest one in history. And we are also saying, that would have to happen with an extremely low supply of inventory and folks wanting houses left and right that can buy them. Keep in mind, homes only dropped around 19 or 20 percent in the Great Recession. So one would have to believe they are going to drop even more than that now to cause prices to actually crash. And while we are seeing reductions on luxury homes and in some markets out west, the fact of the matter is the southeast in particular has remained the strongest by far out of the four sectors of the United States and continues to dominate on the index. Many folks are still experiencing bidding wars on their homes, especially if they are priced correctly and they are in the right range of price point. And what I mean by that is the homes which are anywhere from 150 to say $500,000, which would be more of a middle class, depending on where you're at in that spectrum. Those homes are certainly selling really fast, especially if the proximity is still good to school shop and all the typical hot points folks look for in their home purchase. So to sum everything up, the sky is not falling. Everybody is not going to die tomorrow due to a giant meteorite hitting the earth. And based on history, not hysteria, your homes are likely not going to be worth a dollar in a year. The fact is folks still need them. They provide safety. They provide shelter. They provide a sense of well-being. They are tangible. They will get you out of the weather. They will keep you safe from predators. And studies show that home ownership even increases graduation rates of both high school and college, as well as decreases criminal activity on average for the children growing up in those homes. So when is the best time to buy? And the answer is always the same. You should buy or sell a home when your family is ready. We know the data, folks. Home ownership is a blessing. The average net worth in comparison to a renter versus a homeowner is drastically different, and that disparity is only increasing every single day. For the past few years, we've only seen home prices increase. And while they are expected to slow down, we do expect to see that appreciation continue. We'll need to at least double the inventory to even get to a healthy level of inventory to even begin to worry about having too much inventory to cause prices to drop. I'm Chris Overbay, the Blue Collar Agent. This has been your market update as we head into the month of September 2023. Have a very blessed week and I look forward to serving those who need help here within the Knoxville area. Area, feel free to call or text 865-256-4680. I would love to help with all of your real estate needs. Have a one-on-one -on -one chat and see how I can best serve you. Keep in mind, I will never try to sell, only serve.